Hello everyone, welcome to our chat. My name is Justin, I'm an admissions coordinator here at FAU. Um, we have Anna over here. Hi, I'm Anna Van Dam, I'm an assistant director for international admissions and residency. Awesome. Well, again, thank you guys for uh, joining us today. And we just wanted to give a little brief insight about FAU. Also, if you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to uh, log into the chat. Uh, ask us any questions you might have, and we'll be happily, you know, be able to happily answer any questions you guys might have. So, pretty much what we're going to do is just a little brief info session, let you know about FAU, what we have to offer, little things like that, and then we'll talk a little bit more about. Uh, about some of the requirements, how to get in, Florida residence status, uh, so little things like that. So again, you know, please don't hesitate to you know let us know if you have any questions. So and as you can see, the PowerPoint presentation is up and running. So if you want to follow along, it, we I'm um, going to go ahead and start that. Uh, so like I said, just follow along the PowerPoint, and if you have any questions, let us know. So just a little bit about FAU. Um, we have a little over 30,000 students. As you can see, undergraduate about 24,000, 57% uh, female, 43% male. Um, 23,000 at our Boca Raton campus. So we do actually have four or five other campuses located at FAU, but the main campus is our Boca Raton campus, uh, literally less than five minutes from the beach. And we actually are the only Ocean View football team in the entire United States. So really great opportunity for that. Average class size only 36 with a student teacher ratio of 20 to 1. So even though we have that large number with the 30,000 students, you're never going to see 30,000 students on campus at one time, especially in the classroom. So we really like to keep it small. Uh, so yes, we have a large amount of students here at FAU, but in the classroom where it really matters, we get the small college experience for that. And again, with the 20 to 1 student teacher ratio, you know, you can't go wrong with that. We also are NCAA Division I Conference USA, and we'll get more about the sports in a little bit. And we are a public research university, which means that we do a lot of research uh, at our university. Uh, so a lot of opportunity to get hands-on experience doing the research, depending on what your major is. So. Now, speaking of majors, we also we actually have over 180 possible different majors to choose from. So, as you can see right here, here's our top 10. Um, just to give you an idea, you know, a little bit more about each one. The biological science, of course, is our number one most popular major. Uh, we actually have our own hospital located right across the street from us. So, if you're interested in going into pre-med and also doing the actual uh, doctorate degree. Uh, we do offer that and we actually have three other hospitals located within 10 miles of FAU and we even have our own mock ER right here on campus so you can actually learn and with dummies that talk, that scream, that bleed. It's really, you know, really hands-on experience with that. Um, and then on the flip side of that with biological science you can do marine biology. Now with marine biology again being five minutes from the beach you can understand why that is very popular. We have our own research center right down the street called Gumbo Limbo which deals with a lot of sea turtles and sharks, uh, fish, things like that. And then we also do something that's really unique doing the semester by the sea. We actually get to live on the ocean for a whole entire semester doing research with dolphins and sea turtles and sharks right there on the ocean for a whole entire semester. So it's right up the coast about 45 minutes north of us so again really hands on experience. Num number two is our elementary education. Uh, now with elementary education, we actually have our own elementary school and high school right here on our campus. So before students do student teaching right here in Palm Beach County, which is the county that we're located in, students can actually get their foot in the door before anyone else and actually get to work directly hands-on with students in the classroom right here on campus and then go into Palm Beach County, which is an A-rated county. So kind of get the best of both worlds for that one. Uh, three is psychology. Now, again, we are a research-based institution, do we, so we do strive ourselves on lots of research. We've been featured on CNN, MSNBC, uh, Jay Leno, just to name a few. And as a, a psychology major, you can pretty much, you know, almost make your own experiments. You know, working directly hands-on. Uh, you know, working with working with your professors, and you know, kind of making it how you want to make it, which is a great opportunity for you. Uh, number four is accounting. Uh, accounting is actually ranked top 10 in the nation and our college of business as a whole is also ranked top 10 in the nation. So you're, again, you're really hands-on experience with that. Also with our mock stock trading room here on campus, which is very unique. So you actually get to learn and trade and do stock just like how they do New York City, but still being the comfort of Boca Raton and five minutes from the beach. So you can't go wrong with that one. And then again, number five is our criminal justice. So if you're interested in working, you know, for the police department, sheriff, uh, we actually have direct connections with our Boca Raton police, Palm Beach County Sheriff. Also, we have um, we have a direct connect with the FBI headquarters, which is there's one up in West Palm, which is about 15, 20 minutes north of where we're located. So again, plenty of opportunity to get your hands on, you know, experience with anyone, you know, for all of our majors. Um, then, as you can see, the rest of the top 10. But again, there's over 180 majors to possibly choose from, and you can find all those online 
online at www.fau.edu backslash admissions and you'll see all on the left hand side all the different ones that you can possibly choose from so all right so look that's a little bit more about FAU you know with the majors but pretty much how do you get into FAU um, pretty much what we're gonna be looking at is GPA and test scores um, so first just go over the you know main requirements and then Anna's gonna actually take over and go a little bit more for the international students but as you can see on here, uh, with our GPA and test scores for summer and fall, what the average was for summer about 3.1 to 3.6, fall about 3.3 to 3.9. Um, so you know you can kind of get an idea with that. Also with SAT and ACT scores, you can see 20 to 23 or 22 to 26, um, and ACT 1400 to 16 or 1520 to 17. Uh, so you can kind of get an idea about that. Now what we like to do is um, a lot of people like to ask which one's better, SAT or ACT. For us, it doesn't make a difference. Whichever test score you do better on, that's the one that we're gonna take a look at. So uh, if you, let's say for instance, take the SAT twice. The first time you did it, you did really well the math, but, I'm uh, sorry, the first time you did, excuse me, uh, you, you know, you did really well the math part. Second time you did it, you did really well the, um, the rate, rating and writing. What we'll actually do is called super scoring, where we'll actually get opportunity to take the math from the first one, the reading writing from the second, and combine those to get the best you know score. And like I, I was gonna go into before, is if your SAT is better than the ACT, ACT just goes out the window, kind of pretend we didn't see it, and you know we're only gonna focus on the better score. And for us, you can actually take it as many times as you want, so we don't really care about that. Um, as you can see the requirements, the four units of math, of uh, the four units of English, the four units of math, uh, so you can kind of get an idea what's going on. And then on the bottom, you will see our minimum requirements. That is the state of Florida minimum requirements for each subsection. So even if you make get those subsections, you were still get you still you know have to get the 22 to 26 or around the 20 to 23 ACT or you know of course with the um, SAT score. So just give you an idea about that. So um, anyone have any questions? No. Alrighty, cool. Alright, so um, now Anna's going to go over some of the requirements for international students. Okay, so for international students, uh, what we require is that you do submit the application and, and the fee, the $30 application fee. Then for incoming freshman students, this is your first time in college, what we require is your um, an English translation of your high school transcript. It does not have to be evaluated, but it needs to be in English and signed off um, as an official copy by your school. And so we try to give this as um, an advantage to students so they don't have to get an evaluation, but it does have to be um, where we see, like the grading scale has to be with it, so we're able to um, decipher your course credits and grades. Um, then you'll also need to submit your SATs or ACTs. Normally you can take um, SATs and ACTs abroad. If you go to College Board or ACT.org that you're able to find a location near you. Um, also what is required is English proficiency. If you did not do an English high school or an American high school or an international high school or an IB program, um, you will be required to do a TOEFL or uh, an IELTS exam to show your English proficiency. Currently our minimum sub scores for, uh, minimum test scores for our TOEFL exam is um, an 80 on the internet based test or uh, 550 on the paper based test. Um, and that's for TOEFL. For IELTS, a minimum score is a 6.5. Um, we will go over a little bit later about uh, our Pathway to Academic Readiness program that if a student has a really good GPA um, and really good test scores but their English proficiency might not be where we would be able to admit them, we can go over um, our Pathway to Academic Readiness program, which is basically an intensive English program that is linked to conditional admission. Um, and we'll go through that a little bit later. Um, then the next real step is the Im uh, immigration and visa requirements. But once we only go through the issuing of the I-20 once you're admitted to FAU. And then you'll sit with our um, International Students Office Coordinator and she will get everything in order to get your I-20 issued. So we're, we're trying to make this as clear and as concise as possible, but you, if you guys have any question, you're more than welcome to contact us and we'll gladly kind of go through the steps on a one-by-one -one basis. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. 
Alrighty, so some more. Um, so just so you can see the deadlines and you know, you yeah, know. yeah. The the deadlines for international students currently are for the spring semester. Um, is you know the spring starts in January. That's for October first. Um, we'd like to give it a few months ahead of time just so we can get everything in order because an I twenty does take a long time to issue and. Um, the sooner you apply, the sooner we can kind of get all your transcripts, get all your test scores, and then work on the I-20. Um, so spring entry is January, is, which starts in January, is October 1st, and then the summer entry, which starts in May, um, is February 15th, and then our fall entry, which is starts in August, is April 1st. We will work with students um, if they have applied, but that we're waiting on a test score. As long as you talk with us and let us know that this is coming, we will try to extend, um, you know, the admission deadline. Alrighty. All right. So a little bit, um, you know, about FAU. A little bit going into a little bit more detail about student life, what we have to offer. Of course, residential housing and dining facilities, um, which are absolutely amazing. You can, uh, they're all buffet style actually. So if you live on campus, that's where you'll be eating. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, you know, so it's buffet. So come in and you know, stay as long as you want, or take it to go, bring it back to your resident hall, uh, or bring it to class. So you know always a lot of different options so yeah they have the traditional hot dogs and hamburgers but we also have create your own salads create your own subs we also have you know breakfast you know so if you want breakfast for lunch or dinner there's you know if you want waffles we have that so there's always a lot of opportunities you know and we also have my favorite the dessert bar so if you really want to you know <laughs> dig in you know like I said there's plenty of opportunity for you for that one they do give a lot of vegetarian options mm -hmm. they do give a lot of students options especially if you have diet requirements for international students they try to offer that Exactly. So, if, for instance, you had to keep kosher. If you had to, if you're a vegetarian, if you have a, if you had to have a gluten-free diet, you can actually go ahead and talk to them, and they'll actually make a, a nutrition menu for you um, to make sure that you know you're going to be keeping up with that and make sure that everything is fine. So, it doesn't matter. Um, like I said, if you had to keep kosher, if you're a vegetarian, or if you just you know like anything else, you know there there's an option for every single student here at FAU. So, it doesn't matter, um, and they will be able to go ahead and go the extra mile and help you out again, and you know make that extra menu for you. So which is great. Yeah. So, all right, um, we also have over 300 different clubs and organizations here on campus. I was actually really involved here on campus in Greek life, student government, um, you know, so there's plenty of opportunities for that. So yes, we do have Greek life um, with fraternities and sororities. Um, and again, we also have over 300 different clubs. So if you're interested in uh, education club, we have that psychology club. We also have a rugby club, ice hockey club, skydiving, you know, so anything you can possibly think of, we do offer here at FAU. And if we don't have it here, if you can actually find nine other people that have the same interests as you, you can actually start your own student government funding club right here on campus, which is absolutely great. So there's always going to be something going on. There's always going to be a club for you to join. So whether it's you know sports, whether it's for fun, or whether it's even part of your major, again, you know for business, for psychology, we have all those different clubs and organizations for you. Um, Again, 19 NCAA Division One sports. Uh, so, if you're interested in you know in going to any of these, uh, of course, the traditional football, baseball, basketball, swimming, diving, track, field, cross country. Uh, on the next slide, you'll see you know, or two more slides, you'll see some of the sports. But the best part about being an FAU student, all the events, the football games, the baseball games, the basketball, they're all free to go to just for being an FAU student. All you have to do is just show your owl ID, which is going to be our ID here on campus. You show it, and you actually get to walk right into all these events for free. So to see our brand new football stadium, which is only about three years old, we're going our fourth season uh, right there on campus. We also have our baseball team, which is um, always doing wonderful, uh, making it to the NCAA regionals. Um, basketball team, we just hired a brand new coach, uh, so we're really excited about all this. And of course, we are hosting the softball conference USA tournament this weekend. So a lot of fun stuff, and again, just for being an FAU student, it's all for free right here on campus for you for you to enjoy so um, also you know a lot of different uh, opportunities for arts and cultural um, there's different lectures we have exhibits we have concerts all the time uh, so there's always a lot of fun stuff going on with orchestras and um, concerts like I said um, plus on top of the other different events we even have our own movie theater here on campus which is absolutely wonderful um, they're playing more independent films but you really you know it's right here on campus it's right, right across from one of the resident halls so you literally get to walk right across and you're right there at one of the movie theaters right here on campus has the popcorn has the sodas, has the candies, long you know, as well as other uh, kind of kind of uh, foods that you can eat here. So, 
great opportunity and very cheap to go see a movie for five bucks. You can't go wrong. Um, and again, it's right here on campus, so it's just awesome. So, all right, cool. Um, so, you know, for international students, you know, this might not, you might not need to worry about this, but you always could. Um, but also, we do study abroad here. Um, we've actually been almost every single place in the entire world, except for one, and that's Antarctica. You know, I'm originally from Chicago. I love the cold, but, you know, I'd rather not <laughs> do go back there. But as you can see, you know, we've had, um, you know, study in Hong Kong, study in, you know, every single place, like I said, you can possibly think of. I've had friends that have gone to Australia, that have gone to England and China. So a lot of great opportunity for you to go ahead and study abroad, literally, like I said almost any single place so it um, doesn't matter with your major we're gonna help you find a place and it's it pretty much gonna be paying the exact same price you would here at FAU uh, studying abroad so you know great opportunities there's plenty of scholarships for you for that so um, again you know if you want to go ahead and study abroad we do allow that here at FAU uh, we also have our gym here on campus, which is absolutely beautiful. It actually overlooks our football stadium. Uh, so as you can see, these are some of our ellipticals and treadmills. Um, each one has their own TV in front of it, so you can actually watch whatever you want to watch. Um, you know, so if you want to watch ESPN while the other person watches, uh, you know, something else, again, you have the opportunity to watch whatever you want to watch. Plus, on top of that, you know, overlooking the football stadium, which is great. We also have a weight room in there. Uh, you know, we also have our own pool where it actually slopes down just like the beach. Um, it's called Zero Depth Nth entry uh, which has also three lap lanes and now it is different from the one that uh, the swim team uses so you don't have to worry about that we do have our own you know Olympic sized pool on the other side of campus and also this gym is only you know is just for students and the thing is also you don't have to worry about working out with the football team or the baseball team uh, they have their own separate gyms here on campus too so don't have to worry about that um, again, some of our sports you can see for men's and women's. You know, we have the baseball, basketball, uh, basketball for men's and women, cross country. So just give you an idea of the 19 NCAA Division One Sports Conference USA that we do have. So again, more of our clubs. Uh, you know, everything you can think of from bowling to cricket to uh, judo to lacrosse. So like I said, every single thing you can possibly think of, we will have for you here at FAU. Um, now we also do something called Honors College, which is very unique here at FAU. We have three different types of honors, actually. We have the Harriet Wilkes Honors College, which is up on our Jupiter campus, which is about a half an hour, 40 minutes north of us. Um, it's actually where the, where the spring training complex for the Miami Marlins and also the St. Louis Cardinals are. Uh, so they're right there. Um, now with their Honors College, you can see some of the requirements. Now that is going to be all four years, the more seminar-based classes, so a lot smaller class sizes than even the ones that we have now. Uh, so again, you really get that small, uh, even smaller college experience, so it's more, again, it's more seminar-based, and you actually write your own thesis at the end of this. So it's a great opportunity if you're really interested in getting even more class size, you know, smaller class sizes, um, kind of sit in a circle and talk about psychology or talk about whatever your major is. So again, you know, really, you know, get that hands-on experience with that. And as you can see, the middle 50%, it's about a 4.0 to 4.4 GPA, uh, at ACT about 27 to 29, or in 1840 about 2030 SAT. So again, all three sections. So, and again, that is all four years, which is up on our Jupiter campus. Now, if you don't want to do all four years and you just want to do your first two years um, right here on the Boca Raton campus, you can still do that with your University of Honors program. Again, it's right here on our Boca Raton campus, middle 50 percentile, about 3.8 to about 4.2, ACT about 26 to 29, or a 1740 to about a 1960 SAT. Again, it's your first two years right here at FAU. Now, it's going to be going a lot faster because you are taking 19 credits minimum you know, for your first two years, so 19 credits every single semester. Uh, pretty much a lot of people like to ask what that means. Each class you take pretty much is about three credits long. So just to give you an idea of what that's going to be. Um, and again, there are still more seminar-based classes, so even smaller class sizes. But again, you're taking 19 minimum classes, or 19 credits, excuse me. So if that wasn't you know enough, we also have, like I said, the third option, which is our honors college within the major. So depending on what your major is, we might be able to offer you that, So in which will be your last two years. Um, so if you're going to be going into the College of Business, College of Engineering, Arts and Letters, College of Science, um, depending on what your major is, is what college that you're going to go into. Um, so depending, like I said, what major you can choose, you know, to go from there, and then you can do honors within that. So um, last year with our College of Business, we had 32 uh, students in that program. All 32 students got job placements right after graduation. So we did have a 100%, uh, you know, graduation rate, and then go get 100% right into the job uh, workforce. So can't go wrong with that one. So again, you know, depending on what your major is, what you can possibly go into. So. 
Now living here on campus, um, you can see some of our freshman dorms right here on campus. You can see Glades Park Towers, Heritage Park Towers, uh, Parliament, Algonquin, and also Indian River. Now as a freshman here at FAU, freshmen are required to live on campus if you live outside 30 miles of FAU. Uh, so you are required to live on campus, however you are allowed to have your car on campus as an FAU student um, and as a freshman. So a lot of students like to ask about that question. So. Um, the, what, the resident halls are absolutely beautiful. It's four people for each suite, so they are all suite style. Um, you can either have four single rooms, or you can have two doubles or two singles and a double. So no matter how it works out, there's always going to be four people for each suite. Um, and if you wanted to see actually what all the resident halls do look like, all you have to do is just go online, fau.edu backslash housing, and you can actually get a 360 tour of every single residence hall here on campus, or you can always come on by. We do offer tours every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., and you can just go on our website, fau.edu backslash admissions, and you can see, take a tour and be able to go right here. All right, so the housing process, um, you know, students wishing to live on campus must complete the housing contract. Uh, you just find that online after you've already been accepted. Uh, we'll actually send you a what to do next packet and that will be all in there. There is a $300 deposit for housing and which will go towards your fees later on and an April 1st deadline to apply um, to make sure that you get the priority, which means if you want to live in a single room, that's, you know, that's usually first to go, but there is plenty of singles. Um, but again, there's also doubles, which are absolutely great too. So, but depending on what you're, what you're interested in, you know, we do have that option for you. Um, so for tuition and fees, um, so you can kind of get an idea what the estimated cost. Now, what you see here is not going to be the all and be all. You know, this is just an average. So um, for out of state, it is $718 a credit hour. And like I mentioned before, it's three credits for each class. So if you're taking 30 credits, so for one full year, uh, you're looking at about 21000 just for tuition and fees. Um, now for in-state tuition, it's $199.54 a credit hour. So it's a little bit less than that. So you can get an idea. And then housing and meal plan, the average is about 11000 but again, depends on which resident hall that you live in and also which meal plan you live in. So when you live here on campus uh, to eat in the dining hall, the all-you-can-eat one, you can choose which one you want to get. So um, again, this is just our average for one full year, um, so you can get kind of an idea about that. Cool. All righty. So now Anna's uh, going to take it away from here, so. Okay. Um, well, before I go into the pathway to academic readiness, I kind of want to discuss a little bit uh, more in regards to um, transfer students as well, because we just touched base upon um, freshmen, but we also have transfer students coming um, in at, um, at all levels uh, once they've you know, they've already taken college credits in their own country or um, already in the U.S. So a transfer student is a student coming in with um, ideally more than 13 credits because then they'd already be a, uh, past the freshman level, but they'd be less than 60. So between 13 and 60 is a less than um, 60 transfer student. And what we would require for those students would be your test scores, SATs or ACTs. We'd require your TOEFL exam, high school uh, certified evaluate uh, certified translation and then we would if you would wish to um, submit any college coursework for uh, for us to admit you'd have to show us uh, a NACES accredited course by course evaluation with a grade point average so you could go to our website um, or you can go to NACES.org N-A-C-E-S dot O-R-G and look up all the members and you can submit your transcripts to them. They will evaluate it. Um, what you can request is, like I said, the course by course evaluation with grade point average. And then they will send it to us and then we can um, determine if we are able to give you college credit. Um, so that that's one thing and then transfer students a straight transfer student is a student coming in with 60 or more college credits and what we require for them is a course by course evaluation of their um, prior college coursework and your TOEFL exam if you're coming over with more than 60 credits we do not require us um, we do not require SATs or ACTs we just require your college coursework evaluation and your TOEFL exam so or your IELTS 
so that's hopefully to make it a little more streamlined, but we want to just make people aware that you know what we're looking for is um, a minimum of a 2.5 on all college coursework and for TOEFL is a minimum 80 on the internet based and a 550 on the paper based and for the IELTS is a minimum of 6.5. So now to talk a little bit more about the pathway to academic readiness uh, which we call is our PAR program. Uh, PAR stands for pathway to academic readiness and it offers an intensive English um, link to a conditional admissions to FAU. A lot of students have talked to us about you know conditional admissions and it really wasn't possible uh, until this uh, the past year and now we're really proud of this program um, and really what we want students to feel is very integrated into the um, the school system. We want students to feel it's not just an intensive English program but you're going to be going straight into college work along with your intensive English. So, let's see, the program features both undergraduate and graduate students eligible, uh, eligibility. I work mostly with undergraduate students because <laughs> um, we're in undergraduate admissions, but if you have graduate questions, certainly I can give you information and we can get you in touch with um, the graduate programs. Two levels of English, um, both intermediate and advanced, will kind of gauge that um, if you have TOEFL scores and you send them in and we can see that maybe they're not up to uh, the test scores that we would need for automatic admission, maybe we'll let you know that you know maybe you'd be interested in doing the PAR program. Um, it's designed to be completed in four to eight months, so in about two semesters. So students now today uh, this this fall of 14 is our first class who's going to be fully admitted. They came in in fall of 13, so they took classes in fall and then in spring of 2014, and now they're going to be admitted uh, fully into FAU for fall of 2014. Um, they're non-degree courses um, that are really based to help students on transitioning successfully into their degree studies, because that's what we want. We want students to um, successfully you know, learning, uh, you know, perfect their English and and then go into the university because it just, we, we want the students to succeed. Um, we have guidance throughout the whole application process um, into PAR and while you're in PAR. You're always with, um, it's a very small group so you have a lot of attention there's a lot of people there to support you and guide you, so always feel like we're here for you. Um, the program also features full integration into campus life. So all the wonderful things that Justin was talking about, about the groups and uh, the events, that's certainly what we want you guys to experience um, for the PAR program. We want everyone to feel like they're part of a great university family. Um, full immersion experience on campus housing and meal plans, um, involvement in student life, clubs, activities, athletics. So academic success, uh, success and support services. Um, they, besides the professors who are working with the PAR students, you'll have a coordinator. Um, you'll have you'll have a real intimate group of um, staff both from the International Student Services Office, um, the Study Abroad Program. There's just so many people that want to help you and help you succeed. But um, in regards to also academic support and support services, we, there's the computer lab, library, writing, math lab, and tutoring. Um, access to academic advisors, faculty. Um, the big thing is that there's so many um, ways that we can assist you. Like we do have tutoring, but we also have some great um, like college level assist assistance where they want people to succeed. Uh, exposure to FAU academic culture, expectations, and success strategies. Okay, so right now the PAR program fee for 2014 to 2015 is $15,050, uh, $15, including full-time instruction, health insurance, student access fees, um, events and activities, housing, and meal plan. 
Um, if you have family that lives here close to um, you know the Boca Raton area and you wish to not reside on campus, the parfee without housing and meal plan is $7,600. There is a simplified payment process um, of one all-inclusive PAR fee per term. Uh, successful completion of PAR with a B average or more will result in immediate and seamless transition into the degree studies. Perfect. So, undergraduate admission requirements uh, for PAR. It is a minimum of a 3.0 high school um, GPA. For college, um, it's a minimum of a 2.5. We want to see students with a higher GPA. Um, so anything above a 2.5 would be great. Intermediate and advanced English proficiency. This isn't for a student who really has no English background, but a student who maybe just needs a little bit more um, English instruction. And so we can kind of just assist them with to be at a college ready level. Um, you'll submit the online FAU degree seeking application. So at FAU.edu, is it backslash? Backslash, yes. Backslash uh, admissions, and you'll click on apply, uh, um, apply now. And it's really an easy application process. It'll be uh, step by step, tab by tab. It won't let you go on until you get the first part done, so it's a really simplified application process. And once you finish that, you'll do the $30 application fee, and that will be the degree-seeking application. You'll also apply to the PAR program if you go to fau.edu um, backslash PAR, P-A-R, um, you'll be able to apply for the PAR program. Um, language proficiency evaluation will be needed for placement. So if you have not taken your TOEFL but you really just want to do the PAR, then what you can do is a language proficiency exam uh, through the PAR program and then they'll evaluate where you are. Um, in your final semester, um, what we'll do is a residual SAT. Um, if you did not score very good on your SATs or ACTs, um, that's something they'll also work with you. And you'll do a uh, residual ACT program and an institutional TOEFL. That way, um, we'll kind of have a better gauge of where you're at. And then once you've taken those, you'll be fully admitted as a degree-seeking student. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> So the curriculums um, for pre-degree studies at FAU, um, I'll just briefly go over it. Level one is like the first semester is about 23 contact hours. Um, and during that time, you'll be doing mostly English, um, intensive English coursework. Um, level two, which is the second semester, will vary. Um, and you might actually be able to engage in one um, or two course classes as part of your degree. Students will be taking English classes such as English listening and speaking, English reading and writing, American culture, English for academic purposes, business, engineering, humanities, um, research methods and writing, pronunciation, um, test preparation courses such as ACT, TOEFL, and GRE for our grad students. Um, along with ACT, GRE, and TOEFL test taking. Communications and presentation skills. And normally in the second semester, six credit hours towards your FAU degree in your field of study. So um, for more information on PAR, we would love for you to visit www.fau.edu. Um, forward slash? Yes, it, or and, and, and it's a P-A-R, and then application for instructions is there, fau.edu slash par slash application. Um, if you have more questions, we'll gladly send you the link. Our FAU website is fau.edu. Um, Office of International Programs will also um, love to answer all your questions. Email parinfo at fau.edu. Um, we'll glad our phone number is there, and our managing director is Kathy uh, Catherine uh, Mishevitz, and then our current park coordinator is Isabel Oswald, 
and uh, my name is Anna Van Dam. I will assist with the international admissions process, but they will also gladly assist you with any questions you have. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so um, just a little to kind of finish it off about some of our alumni, kind of perfect way to end this. As you can see, uh, you know, some of our graduates, they include leaders of business, industry, government, education, the arts. Uh, we actually have an uh, astronaut that's in space right now. His name is Steve Swanson. Um, he actually brought the FAU flag with him the first time he went up there with the FAU t-shirt. Uh, so really excited to see him. Uh, two uh, Pulitzer Prize winners. Uh, we also have researchers uh, who have achieved major advancement in biotech and engineering. Uh, so great opportunities as for alumni. Those are just obviously some of our uh, you know, thousands of alumni that are all around the world right now. So, you know, again, plenty of opportunity with the 180 majors. We will allow, you know, allows you to, you know, do whatever you want to do and, you know, go where you want to go, whichever, you know, whichever route you want to go, whether it's becoming an astronaut uh, who is an engineering major or, of course, you know, being a Pulitzer Prize winner, uh, working for magazines, working, you know, for government. Uh, we actually have some people right now working in the White House. Uh, so, you know, a lot of opportunities for you around there. And there's, so, no matter where you look, there's always an FAU alumni, you know, somewhere within you. So, um, but that pretty much does it for us. Now, does, Anna, do you have anything to add or want to add to that? Uh, yes. Of something I, you know, most students uh, always ask about is scholarships. Um, we do offer um, a few international students scholarships, but the availability is limited, therefore very competitive. But um, two of them are, are DPAN for freshmen and DPAN for um, transfer students. It's a $2,000 scholarship. Uh, we also have our Academic Excellence Award which is for three credit, it's a three credit tuition waiver um, depending on your, this is all dependent on your high school um, GPA and test scores. Um, so we, we'd like to say there are scholarships out there, um, but we would love students to apply and ask us about them and then we'll see if you are available. Also, you know, depending when you apply because they are um, so limited and we try to give out as many as we can but um, there's few of them but certainly scholarships is um, is always a big question yeah a lot of people like to ask that <laughs> yeah. um, but of course you know it's always like she said right there on our website so um, you know fau.edu backslash admissions and on the left hand side you'll see scholarships you can see all the different ones for whether you're a freshman whether you're a transfer whether you're an international student all those type of you know scholarship questions will be there also again if you have any questions whatsoever you can always feel free to go to our website you know again fau.edu backslash admissions or always feel free to email us at, w at admissions at fau.edu uh, we'd be happy to answer or any questions you might have or of course feel free to give us a call at 561-297-3040 so that's our main line you'll be able to um, speak to anyone from uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. also you can always come in any Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 uh, and again, we do tours every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. or 2 p.m., uh, which you can just go ahead and sign up online um, on, again, on our website, feu.edu backslash admissions. So, um, Anna, do you have anything else? No, that would be it. Um, like I said, we're here to help you. Um, if you have questions regarding PAR, please let us know. Um, otherwise, you know, in regards to regular international admissions questions, if you email admissions at fau.edu, we'll be able to answer your questions. Um, you know, certainly I-20 questions will be directed by the International Students Office and Scholar Services Office. They'll be able to kind of answer more in-depth questions regarding uh, what you need to issue the I-20, what are the requirements, um, but normally we don't even approach that until we have you admitted into FAU. Yeah. But we hopefully, we have you guys, um, if you have any questions, we're here for you. Awesome. So. Yeah. Um, looks like there's no questions right now, but um, again, just want to thank you guys for uh, coming and watching us. And again, you know, please feel free to give us a call or email us if you guys have any questions. And um, thank you guys again for coming along and, uh, you know, learning a little bit more about FAU. So if there's not any other questions, I'd um, like to say goodbye and um, hope to see you guys here soon. So take care, everyone. Thank you.